with summertime quickly approaching, what better way to think about water conservation than using rain barrels? I'm Megan Baylor, your Warren County Extension Agent for Horticulture, and we're very thankful to have Penny Warwick here with us today. She works for our Warren County Conservation District. It's good to have you here. Thank you for inviting me. We work as a team sometimes on these rain barrels mm -hmm. and we like to let people know that we're actually having a class uh, coming up here in the next few months where you'll actually be able to make your own rain barrel and take it home to use it, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, and with that, we can do it at a fairly low fee because we're cooperating together to do that. So we really want to get the word out there. But Penny, why would we even want to have a rain barrel? A lot of a lot of people um, like to have rain barrels to collect the rainwater from their gutters, um, so that they can use them in turn for their gardens mm -hmm. and or just house plants. So really, it's a free source of water. Right. You're not going to increase your water bill because you have this. Exactly. You're conserving uh, what has naturally fallen to utilize. Mm -hmm. And also this summer, you know, we hope that we don't have any drought-like situations, exactly. but we could end up potentially having a fairly full barrel just after a few rainfalls Absolutely. that we can utilize, right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, some people worry. I know we get a lot of calls at the extension office about mosquitoes and collecting water. And that's our one thing to tell people, don't collect water, but now we're collecting mm -hmm. some water. So what do we do to make sure that doesn't happen? Well, we have um, a special, just a screen, regular door screen, mm -hmm. and uh, we make sure that we keep that around the top where this is your only hole. This is the only spout um, in which, uh, let me get a oh, yeah. here. Uh, when we drill a hole that any water would come through. Mm -hmm. So you'll attach it to your gutter and downspout, and then you'll have this screen. So anything that does try to get down in there is caught through your screen. So you can easily take these off and clean them out, you know, if they get full of uh, And you'll debris. probably have to do that yes. pretty regularly. Mm -hmm. Now, there in the summertime, obviously we don't have to worry about any freezing issues or anything like that. Can we utilize these during the winter? You you can. I, keep an eye, uh, you know, if it's really full, you want to make sure uh, that you drain it out. And, and we install all these spigots at, okay. at the bottom so that you can um, drain out as you know as much as you need to uh, over winter yeah and we encourage you to sit them up on a concrete block or a pallet or something so that when you go to drain them you can get a bucket or something underneath yeah all the supplies that you need we pretty much have laid out here today yes. and what's great about it is you can purchase all these things at your local home goods store absolutely and um, there's a lot of places and we do recommend if you don't feel like you can build one you can come to our classes but you can also purchase ring barrels um, it may cost you a little bit more to yeah. purchase one than it will to build one but if you need recommendations on how to build your own rain barrel if you can't come to the class you can always contact your local extension office or your conservation district we have plans that you can take home with you so you can build your own rain barrel and have a happy garden this yeah. summer Absolutely. with that great rain thanks